Hello. Uh, good morning, everybody. I am Dr. Mulachan. Let me explain the anterior skull base in a simple line diagrams. Okay. This is lateral pterygoid plate. This is medial pterygoid plate. Okay. I am extrapolating this two lines. Now this is median canal. In a 45 degree angle to this median canal, this is V2. Next, the paraclival carotid is in line with medial pterygoid plate. This is medial pterygoid plate. This is lateral pterygoid plate. And this is paraclival carotid. Now, para cellular carotid and petrous carotid. Next, precochlear carotid, and this is this is carotid canal. Next. Okay, this is posterior coina, right side posterior coina, left side posterior coina and the lateral limit of posterior coina is medial pterygoid plate and this is the septum. Now, this is ula, this is ula, this is soft palate and anterior pillar of tonsil, posterior pillar of tonsil, anterior pillar of tonsil, posterior pillar of tonsil, posterior pillar of tonsil, anterior pillar of tonsil and now the tongue and tonsil. Okay. Next, from carotid canal Parapharyngeal carotid starts. This is the parapharyngeal carotid. It may go behind the postpel of the tonsil and it may see posterior to the posterior pillar of the tonsil while doing tonsillectomy. So, this is parapharyngeal carotid. Next. From junction of vertical part of the carotid and horizontal part of the carotid. From carotid canal to for a lateral carotid, this is called intratemporal carotid. Intratemporal carotid, this intratemporal carotid divided into vertical part and horizontal part. This vertical part of carotid is also called as precochlear carotid and this horizontal part of the carotid is also called petrous carotid. From junction of vertical part of the carotid and horizontal part of the carotid, the eustachian tube starts. The eustachian tube. tube lies posterior to the medial pterygoid plate. Okay, next. Temporomandibular joint. Hospital condyle. Mandibular condyle. Sorry. Next, this is jugular bulb. This in turn jugular vein accompanies para 
pharyngeal cavity so this is internal jugular vein okay next this is para pharyngeal para clavicular carotid para cellular carotid next this is infundibulum and this is pituit anterior pituit and this part is the posterior pituit okay next superior orbital fissure the medial wall of the superior orbital fissure is nasal part of the superior orbital fissure and next is the optic nerve and the bone between optic canal and the superior orbital fissure is optic strut this one next common tendinous ring this is the common tendinous ring the bone between the v2 and superior orbital fissure this is maxillary strut this is maxillary strut okay next inferior orbital fissure so this is superior orbital fissure this is inferior orbital fissure next styloid process from the styloid process three muscles comes one is palato pharyngeus next palato glossus hmm? palato hyoid muscle three muscles next this is origin of medial pterygoid muscle and it goes and inserts in between the medial pterygoid plate in between the lateral pterygoid plate and medial pterygoid plate and this is temporalis muscle temporalis muscle and this is paracellular keratin this is pituitary cell paracellular keratin this paraclavicular keratin and paracellular keratin the whole thing present in sphenoid sinus the whole thing present in the sphenoid sinus the extrapolation between v2 and median canal the space is occupied by the cavernous sinus this is the paracellular keratin 